the best win that you've been involved in? Uh, I guess so, yeah. That's to, uh, to be playing in a prelim final is fantastic. And, um, and we're, yeah, over the moon about it. It's an uh, exciting, exciting challenge, exciting week. And, um, but, yeah, it was, it was a good game on the weekend as well, I guess. How much of a, I guess, did that really show the group's character over there in Fremantle? It's a very good side, but mm. sort of comprehensively outplayed in the first half of the yeah. and then to come back like that in those conditions. Yeah, we were. That's the first half. Um, we were outplayed. There, um, we probably weren't able to handle the pressure well enough, and, and their composure um, to use the ball well was something that um, yeah found us out in that first half. But then I feel as if yeah we were able to, to turn that around pretty quickly. The boys um, stuck to stuck to the way we we know how to play, and, and um, yeah we're able to just really grind back and uh, and then yeah be able to kick away in the end there. But a bit of the, I guess, the group's mantra this year has been that never give in. Mm. I mean, how much has the playing group really, really embraced that sort of attitude? Yeah, Kenny, ever since he's been at the club, has really been big on the whole never give in. And um, yeah, I guess when the first day he turned up and said, all right, this is, this is what we're going to stand for. We're never, never going to give up and, and we're going to play some tough, brave footy. And, and, and that's what we've really tried to do over the last couple of years. And, and um, um, so I guess that's, that's the way that we're looking at it. And, um, and we'll keep going that way. What makes him such a good uh, he's very honest, you know, he tells it as it is, he, he, um, he's very upfront with you and you know, if you need a spray he'll, he'll give you a spray but then he's also very compassionate and understands um, you know, how everyone, uh, he's uh, yeah, very able to deal with everyone in, in different ways and um, I think that's you know, great in a coach to be able to be like that but then he's also um, behind the scenes, very analytical, uh, very measured and, um, and he just is yeah, fantastic with the way that he sees the game. What did he give at half time? At half time? Uh, he wasn't too impressed, yeah, as, you, as you'd expect. And, and Kenny can, you know, lose his, lose his cool in the change room from time to time. But yeah, it was, it was definitely warranted. He, he just sort of said that, um, you know, we're not playing the way that we should be playing. We're getting beaten in the key areas that we, we talked about winning before the game. And, um, and I guess, like I said before, with the composure side of things, you know, they were able to just be more composed going inside forward 50 and, and use the ball a bit better. And, yeah, that all came out with a, a few other words in there, I guess. <laughs> so the last quarters, why are you so good in the last quarters? Um, yeah, it's it's an interesting one. Uh, I think that um, you know our pre seasons have, have been something that have really set us up over the last couple of years. And uh, Burjo coming into the group, he's been been really good for us. And um, just the way that he trains us very smartly, I think he puts a lot of science into the way that we do things. And and so he, him, and his team really have, have been fantastic in that regard. But then in the end. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's an interesting one to ask. I'm not really too sure because the week before we, we probably didn't finish the game off that well. Um, whereas this week we were able to, to really run over the top. And uh, I guess we are a fit side, but you know every team in the competition feels they're a fit side as well. Is it as much mental as physical? Just yeah, I guess you can do it. I guess it does come down to that. Yeah, and the confidence to know that you know we're in a position where if we are close, we, we feel confident that we can really run out the game strong and and um, and continue to play the way that we had been playing. And, and so that's um, it does it gives you that confidence going to that last quarter. Are you reaping a reward from a mid-season, um, I guess, extra training load that may have cost you a top four spot but it doesn't matter now seeing that you're in the prelim final? Yeah, I don't think, um, you know, people talked about like an increased training load and stuff. I don't think it was specifically meant to, to be, you know, more more load than normal or anything like that. I think Burjo was pretty measured in the way that uh, the whole season was pretty consistent. So I don't think that we really the form something was to do with our fitness level. It was just to do with the fact that you know we were we were going wrong in a few areas on the field, and and so our fitness was still there. We were still um, you know running hard, and our, our numbers were all the same. So it really probably it wasn't really about the the fitness side of things. Mm. Are you sure you're right for this final? Everyone, the whole team. Your team. Yeah, I, I feel as if we're we're in a good position. We've got a strong list. Everyone's up and running, and um, and we're feeling feeling good. I know. Yeah, that's, they are a great side, and that's where we'll go in with, with the utmost respect, really. They're, they've been able to do it last year. They're, um, they've been playing some fantastic footy all season long. And, and so that's where, I guess, Ken and, and Walshy and the boys upstairs, they'll be putting in the hard hours this week to really have a look at key areas that we can win. But um, with finals footy, I guess every club talks about it, and everyone talks about um, the intensity level of the game and, and really going, being able to, to win that contested footy in close. Um, win the stoppages and um, and give you forward some really strong delivery and that's seems to be the 
every club talks about the same sort of stuff. Seems to be the mantra of the finals, but um, that really is the way that you know teams are, are able to win in finals footy. How do you stop there? They're such a good kicking team. How do you? Yeah, well, that, that'll be a good te uh, test for us. And um, I think a lot of it's just in, in the mindset, again, being able to close down those options quicker than um, than they're able to, to execute the skills. And, um, and they've been fantastic all year. Like I said, the, their skill is, is elite. And, and so it's, it's going to be a good challenge for us. I guess you can't afford to, I mean, Freo missed a few opportunities, but when you've got sharpshooters like Gunston, Ruffy and mm. Bruce, I guess you can't allow that quick start and let them have any shots in front of goal. No, nah, no, we can't. That's um, yeah, they, they are a great side going inside forward fifty. They've got those guys that, that do kick their goals, and um, and yeah, we'll need to be on our on our game from, right from the start. We've talked about that just before that you know that the starts are imperative in finals footy, and and we'll be making sure that uh, yeah, we don't let that that happen again. Are you expecting a more open game than the chokehold that the Dockers started with at least in the first half? No, I'm not. I don't think it'll be you know more free flowing or anything like that. Um, Looking at most of the finals games, it's it always pretty enclosed, pretty hard fought, and and I'd expect that this would be you know not, not too much different. How strong is your belief among the playing group now that you can go all the way? Oh, mates, it's uh, I might as well use the cliche. We're just taking it one week at a time, Andrew. Yeah, it's um, <laughs> now we, we'll make sure that this week we can really go hard at them. Um, we feel confident in our ability that um, that we can match it with these teams, and, and throughout the season we've been really um, strong on. You know, performing on game day and making sure that um, that's that's the way we go about it. And so, you know, we can, yeah, really have a have a tough test this week, have a, have a go and um, and see where it heads from there. Just on yeah. the ball from ground, the belief among the group though that you can beat the Hawks, who for a long time been considered, you know, the certain grand finals for Sydney. Mm, yeah, you've, yeah, you got to believe, otherwise it's no use going out there. So all the boys are, are really excited about it, um, and we believe that yeah, we can match it with them and, and we can win. Obviously, there's a bigger prize on the line each week, and it's spot the grand final this week. Yeah. Do you feel that each week? Oh, it's exciting. Yeah. Can you use that? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's over the last couple of weeks. I've I've been excited going into games, and um, you get nervous, and and you uh, you get a little bit anxious. But oh, I think it's you know all a part of it. It's it's a, the good part of playing in September. It's it's exciting. Um, you know, you might not sleep as well at night, but um, yeah, you know that there's there's a good prize on the end of it. At what point does Two trips yeah. to Perth in three weeks, and now you go to Melbourne. Mm. At what point does that take a bit of a toll against a team that's had a week off? Yeah, I don't think it takes too much of a toll. Um, doing it in Perth for, for four years, living over there, we had to do that every second week. So I think that you um, you, you get used to travelling and, and we do it every second week going to Melbourne and those sort of things. So um, I don't think the travel really affects us too much. We went over two days before this week and um, and actually enjoyed it, you know, got a bit of time to spend with each other and um, I think that's almost a, a bit of a freshen up in itself, you know, we're just hanging out with the, with the group and we're able to get away from Adelaide and, and, um, and just have a bit of fun over there. How do you approach the magnitude? Oh, you try to keep it as normal as possible, but you understand that you know we are going into a preliminary final. It's an exciting week. It's um, you know it's what you play footy for to really go um, play in September, and, and so we we enjoy we've enjoyed the last few weeks, and and, uh, and hopefully we can continue to do that. But a lot of it is just making sure that you um, you maintain that consistent um, approach and, and the preparation. You know, it doesn't have to change too much. Um, we just need to to uh, embrace it and and um, keep it consistent. Right, to beat um, Fremantle. No, they won 28 of 30 at Patterson's. Yep. You were 31 points down to get up with. Is, is the belief among the players at an all-time high with this playing group right now? Oh, I think it was a great win and um you know, to be playing in a preliminary final, you've got to be able to believe in, in what you, you do. And, and so we are, we, you know, we're confident, um, but we don't want to be overconfident. You know, that's that first half showed that, you know, when we don't turn up and we aren't able to uh, to execute, you know, we can uh, get found out pretty quickly. So we've got to make sure that, you know, the way that we played in that second half is where we approach the four quarter game. Just a lesson you learned from that game. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yep. Um, how do you beat Gawthorne? Well, I guess it comes down to, uh, the contested footy inside, being able to to win that ball, get it inside forward 50, but then also to be able to um, to stop their their elite ball users and being able to just um, nullify their ex skill execution because that's you know they've been able to to do that for years now and and they've been elite at it and obviously that's why they won the premiership last year. They're, they've got that tough inside um, core group and then they're able to to use the ball uh, exceptionally well. So pressure related. Yeah, definitely. Yep. Just on that first last half. couple of guys. Mm -hmm. What did you do? What did you need to do better than you did in the first half? 
against the Dockers to make sure that doesn't happen again? Yeah, well, um, I guess it's pretty similar to, to what I just said, really. There's the, um, the stoppage, uh, being able to get it out of stoppage, but not just, you know, quick kick it and stuff, being able to, to use it with a bit of composure and, and actually um, use it smart going inside forward 50 is always key because you know, our back six have been working pretty hard and they're able to to, um, to stop it when, when it, the game's on our terms. But um, as soon as you let the ball out of there easy, it's um, you can see that the game really opens up and, and the um, the teams are able to run through you pretty quick if you, if you let it out of there. Too easy. Tommy Jonas, will he play? Yeah, yeah, well, he should be fine. I, the last I last I saw him, he was walking around pretty fine, and um, yeah, he should be should be good to go. I think it was just a corky in the end. It was just a precautionary. How important is he to the structure of your group? Yeah, he's become imperative over the last couple of years. The way that um, you know he's really grown as a leader, he's become a, a real strong. Um, you know, man amongst the group, and um, in that back six especially, he's been been fantastic for the group, along with Bobby and Jacko, and and even Hompshi now. There's there's a, a good core group of those taller, sort of bigger body defenders, and and uh, he's been yeah, fantastic. Yeah, earlier this year, you knocked off Hawthorne here under lights in what was a big game. Mm. They were missing a couple at that stage, but does that still give you a bit of a I guess a little psychological edge going into this weekend, knowing that you've knocked them off this year. Already. Yeah, I don't know if it's a psychological edge, but it does give you confidence to know that you know we are, we're able to to beat the team that we're coming up against this week. Obviously, things will change, and the way they play, um, it was round ten, so a lot a lot of uh, things have changed in their lineup and, and the way they go about it. But um, yeah, it gives you confidence. But once again, it, it'll come down to, to how we go on the weekend. Yeah, best, best, best. Last one with the goal, we've been trying for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Just about the fans, obviously yep. a massive contingent are expected to yep. go over. Just yep. feelings on how important that is. Yeah, they've been fantastic all season long, and, and to go to Adelaide Oval and get fifty thousand, it's been you know been a real buzz for the boys, and they've been loving it. And um, even when we go into state nowadays, you can really feel that um, the, the Port Adelaide. Uh, group is there. You know, on the weekend there was a few thousand, and they were making plenty of noise and, and getting excited, and and that's fantastic because the boys love it. You know, when you run out and you actually hear some support, it's uh, it's always great. And last year I remember there was probably fifteen, twenty thousand at our two finals, and and uh, that support's always greatly appreciated because you yeah you know what it means to them, and and you really uh, you work hard for that. Are you happy the Maggies are in the granny? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's first time since ninety nine, is it? First time. Since, yeah, no, so it's it's an exciting week. Mm. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what the what the situation is there with whether he'll play or whether he won't. But um, yeah, w whatever happens, you know, that's. Um, I think we have the back uh, the backman there that can um, watch for that. And um, yeah, but if he comes up, it's he's a handy player to have in their side. That's for sure. Who would, who would uh, suit him if he did get up? Yeah, that's um, Tom Jonas is always able to play tall or small. He's always really good like that. Um, Matthew Broadbent. Um, whilst he's really good offensively, he's also really good at being able to, to nullify a player like that. And, um, and Jasper Pittard's another one that's a bit smaller and um, can probably go with the with the speed.